All right, let's take a look at Adrian Peterson's fantasy totals over the last five seasons. Obviously, the top, uh, you know, he played one game, so he got nine points, which is actually pretty good for one game. But uh, as you can see, finished in the top ten pretty much every year, finished in the top five in uh, 2010, 2011, and 2012. Uh, what should, I guess, the expectations be for Adrian Peterson, given that he's 30 years old now, uh, he, he's coming back after missing 15 games, and yet, despite those things, a lot of folks have him in the top two. Is Can argument be made he should be the number one uh, pick in fantasy this year, Fabs? Well, I had been arguing that the entire offseason until Le'Veon Bell's suspension was reduced down to two games. I still say he is the number two running back now because Bell okay. is clearly number one. I don't care about his age. This guy is a freak of nature. He's a cyborg. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got him as my number two running back, but if you took him number one, I'm not going to mock it. You're not going to be mad. Even. No, I, I actually want to be in the number three spot, so that way <laughs> the decision is kind of made for me a little bit. Okay. But, uh, look, I, at this point, I don't – you know what? I do. I doubt Adrian Peterson. Because when we doubt him, he comes back stronger. Ah. So I doubt Adrian Peterson. Draft Adrian <laughs> Peterson. Reverse psychology. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Adam Ring. Yeah, I would say if you're in that uh, top four position, any of the guys that you're going to end up with there are very good. And it depends on, you know, who you want to root for.